Lights out. <laughs> Hello. There is a tide in the affairs of men which, taken at the flood, leads on to sweet revenge. And Ambrose was a man who knew a tide when he saw one. Lights out. Begging your pardon? Very well, then. The sailors' rest may not be a palace exactly, Slater, but it's a place where an honest seaman can get a room for the night and move along with that time. Go oh, on, Mrs. Manifold. Mrs. Manifold, look here. What's the matter, Slater? Well, it's been an accident or something. There's a bloke lying here. Looks like he's unconscious. Well, don't stand there like a dummy. Come on, let's bring him in. See what's the matter with the lad. Come on, now. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, he's heavy. Come on, Daddy. Daddy, yeah. Just put him in the chair, yeah. Oh, there you are, Daddy. There we go. Oh, he's got a bad head in here. Go get some water, Slater. Oh, he looks like he'd be better off with a drop of port. You know my rules about that. Go fetch some water. Mind you, just water. All right, Mr. Oh, Manifold. Right. Come on, Daddy. Are you all right? Oh. oh. What happened? Well, by the look of you, you've got it on the head. That's what happened. Who are you? I'm Mrs. Ambrose Manifold, and you're in my hotel, the Sailor's Rest. You're a seaman, aren't you? Hi. My name is John Robinson, the second mate of the Clipper Emma Rawlings, latest stock home out of New York. I see. Oh, it's, it's just so it hit me. Yeah. There's your water, Mom. Yeah. Drink this, it might have. Now, now, Mr. Robinson. Oh. Tell me about it. How did you happen to be on our front step in this condition, eh? I, I don't know exactly. We got into Tilbury this morning. And I went ashore to the sail again at 11 tonight. I thought I'd have a few beers. I just remember walking out in the street. It was foggy see anything and I heard footsteps behind me and someone hit me I just woke up now I see you probably had your pay pinched too your ship sailed an hour ago mr. Robinson it's after 12 what you seem like a nice enough lad we happen to need a desk clerk here to work nights It'll pay you ten shillings a week, and uh, you can look for another ship in your free time. Have you ever been a hotel clerk before? No. I can read a writer at figures if it comes to that. Oh, you've had some schooling. Good. But I have to warn you that the clientele here is a very rough lot. Though I don't suppose you can expect much else out of Limehouse now, can you? We're of the sailor's rest, like enough, eh? Slider, <laughs> Slider, you'll be good enough to get Mr. Robinson's room ready for him. The small one at the end of the hall. He'll be our guest tonight. All right, Mrs. Manifold. <laughs> Well, Mr. Robinson, will you accept my offer? Well, what do I have to do? Well, your duties are simple. Make them sign the registry, and once a day you, you bring the registry to my room down the wall and I'll examine it. Charge them two shillings a night in advance, and you can bring the money to me when you bring me the registry book. Is that all? Sounds easy. Oh, yes, there's one thing. I don't permit any wine of any kind ever to be brought to the sailor's rest. Is that clear? Aye. 
And I'm sure you must be tired, lad. Huh? Will you want any help getting on your feet? Uh, gentlemen's room. Oh, ready, yeah, Mum. Uh, I shall do it. And 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 bring him some breakfast in the morning when he wakes up. Bacon and eggs, I imagine. Very good, Mum. And uh, I'll take care of the, the desk tonight and put Mr. Robinson on. He's feeling better. Come on, I'll, I'll give you a help up onto your feet, lad. <laughs> you didn't know a woman could be as strong as that now, did you? Did you? Come on, Mr. Robinson. You'd be surprised at the things a woman can do. Oh, Clayton. Here, on his hand. There we are. Take it easy, lad. Take it easy. <sighs> Good night, Mr. Robinson. should say not. Ah, why, the place is as quiet as a grave, Mum. Have you got a room for me, mate? Uh, yeah, we got a couple left, but that's two shillings in advance. In advance? Uh, and you got to uh, sign a register here. Yeah. There you are. Hey, uh, mate. Whose place is this? It belongs to a woman. I've only been here for a week now, so I don't know much about her. Say, is her name by any chance Manifold? Aye, are you know her? <laughs> Mrs. Manifold? Mrs. Ambrose Manifold? <laughs> sure, I know her. Uh, uh, there's a woman for you. You know, there hasn't been as good a boarding house in Singapore since she left. Well, Singapore? Let me think. Uh, uh, ten years ago. Why do you suppose she left? Who knows, mate? She was making money faster than she could spend it. And then when her husband left, she just shut up the place and off she went. Husband? Well, what happened to him? Ah, nobody knows for sure, mate. Andy, he liked to drink. And chase after the ladies. <laughs> How a little bloke like him had the nerve to do it with her. Oh, watching him all the time is more than I can tell. <laughs> Funny thing. Amby was a wine drinker in Singapore, of all places. What, a wine drinker? And that he was. <laughs> and here's the funniest part of the whole thing. They say that when Amby finally run out on her, he took along with him the biggest cask of Bordeaux wine they had in the cellar. Has anybody seen him since then? Not a living soul. <laughs> now, there's some that say that Mrs. Manifold caught him one day, soused with wine and carrying on with a little Burmese dancing. <laughs> now, Mrs. Manifold was strong enough to break a man in two with her bare hands, uh, but she didn't do a thing to him. Mother. So the story goes. And it was right after that that Amby disappeared, and no one has seen hide nor hair of him since. Hmm. Well, uh, I'm bone tired, mate, so let's have him a key. I'll be off. Yeah, well, here you are. It's just down the hall there. Down there to the right.
Mr. Robinson. Mr. Robinson, will you step into my room for a moment, please? I want to speak with you. Come in, Mr. Robinson. There's the door. <coughs> Mr. Robinson, who is that, uh, who is that man you were just talking to a moment ago? Well, I was just a sailor, took a room, named Bennington. Said he knew you in Singapore. Yes, yes, yes. Is, um, is that what you were talking about? No, he also said he knew your husband, Ambrose Manafort. Did, uh, did this Bennington say where my husband was these days? Oh, no, I didn't have any idea. <laughs> Would you like to know where he is, Mr. Robinson? Well, Mrs. Manafort. I'll tell you where he is. He's sailing the seven seas somewhere, Mr. Robinson. Drinking his fill of the wine I gave him. <laughs> Drinking his fill of my wine. <laughs> hey, John, are you getting the ship, Mr. Robinson? Well, maybe one now in a day or two. Oh, I wish you luck on us. <laughs> Go, Blobby, I'd like to be getting out of this place myself. Mm. And Mrs. Manifold, she's been as jumpy as a copper's knot lately. Oh, well, you can't blame her, Flater. This fog has been enough to make anyone nervous these oh. last few weeks. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. It ain't the fog, Mr. Robinson. It's something else. Like she was uh, expecting something to happen any moment. <laughs> You're imagining things. Oh, imagining, is it? Well, we'll see about that. You just mark my words. We'll see about that. <laughs> Evening. Here, can I help you? Is this the sailor's rest? That's right. Do you want a room? Maybe. Tell me, does Mrs. Ambrose and Manifold own this hotel? Aye, she does. Let me have a room. Well, that's two shillings, sir. And you got to sign the register. All right. Uh. Look, I don't want to mention this, but I can't help noticing it. There's a strict rule against drinking wine in the sailor's rest. Just thought you ought to know. I know Mrs. Manifold's rules. <laughs> Your room's just down the hall there, number five. Well, I'll have to get it uh, cleaned up, though. Would you like to take a seat? see you right away, Mrs. Manifold. There's a man out there just took a room and he signed his name on the register. Well, what's so strange about that? Everybody signs the no, register. No, but look, look, it's his name. Let me see. Oh. It's the same name as yours. I thought you ought to know right away. Yes. Yes, of course. What does he look like? Oh, it's a short, small man. I couldn't see his face very well. Where is this man now? in the lobby. I left him waiting out there. I want to see him. Well? Well, he was here a, a moment ago. Mr. Robinson, is this some kind of joke? A joke? Yes. First you roused me from my room in the middle of the night with a story about a man who signed my husband's name well, to the register. His name, Mr. Nook. No matter, it could have been written by you just as easily. Well, what would I want to sign his name? This man is nowhere in sight. Just a moment. Mr. Robinson, do you smell something? Smell something? 
The wine, Mr. Robinson. The wine. Have you been drinking wine in here again? No, I haven't it? been drinking wine. If it came in here, there's wine in here. It came in on that man. I think he'd been drinking. Very well. See what you can do about getting the smell out of here. Open the door or the window, but just get rid of the smell. I'll be in my room if you see him again. Call me at once. I... I, I wa Robinson. Hey. Did you hear something just now? Like what? Like singing, Mr. Robinson. Like singing. Well, I can't say that I did. Uh, I must have imagined it then. Very well. I Good night, Mr. Robinson. Good night. She's in her room now. Good. Now, you're pretty chipper. That I am, Mr. Omerson, that I am. And it's gonna be a good joke on her for fair. What's well, gonna be a joke? <laughs> Down at the dock at the foot of the street. That's what. What are you talking about? About what happened in the dock. Yeah. About an hour ago, I was sitting on the end of the dock with Jed Hawkins and Alfie Chapman, and we was having a nice little smoke, all nice and peaceful like, when it comes along. When well, what comes along? Ah, that's going to be my little surprise. Here, yeah. you see, I saw a blooming name on it, so I says to Alfie and Judd, come on, let's give us a hand with this, because it was for the madam, right enough. See, well, when I got a look at it, I thought to myself, ha-ha, what a lark this will be to bring into the sailor's rest. <laughs> oh, better, what is it? <laughs> oh, we lad, all in good time, I always says, all in good time. I'll bring it in come morning. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Ah, go on up, man. Yeah, knock it down. <laughs> I'll bring it in come morning. Yeah, no. That's what I'll do. Not before. No! Oh, no! Go away, Ambrose! No! I didn't mean it! Don't touch me! No! <laughs> She's dead. Strangled with this. Oh, let's get out of here, Mr. Robinson. Come on, let's get out of here. Now you go outside and get a policeman. I'll wait in the lobby. Do you smell that? Yes. It smells just like wine. You and Mr. Clayton broke into Mrs. Manifold's room? I'm found her strangled with this. Is that correct? That's correct, sir. We found her lying on the floor right where we showed you. Yes. What about the smell of the wine in the room? Well, now, that's very strange, sir, but it was there, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, Inspector, could I be excused for just a moment? Yes, but don't go very far now. Thank you, sir. A man came in here last night and signed his name by the name of Ambrose Manifold. Ambrose Manifold. That's right, sir. It's right here in the register. Where is this man now? I don't know. Just came in here and... What on earth is that? Where did you get it? 
belongs to Mrs. Manifold. Explain Found yourself. Found it. All floating in the River Thames, nice and neat as you please, sir. That's a wine cask, isn't it? I do believe it is, sir. Been floating in the water for years, by the looks of it. Right. Look at these here signs. It's a wine cask, all right. Addressed to Mrs. Ambrose Manifold, Sailor's Rest, London, England. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Wine for Mrs. Manifold, eh? Right. Have you got something here that we could use to open this can? Yeah, I'll tell you here, sir. Here you are. Thanks. Now, let's have a look. what he done. He come back from the depths of the seas to get his revenge on her. What murdered him? And put him in here. Oh. Look. Look how he signed his name in the register. Look. Ambrose Manifold. Later Singapore, out of Bordeaux. television.